Hey guys, Jack from Half Chrome. Today I want to talk about charging these guys. Now, if you're using the charge that came uh, with your drone, stop. Don't do it. It's not a good idea most of the time. Um, it's not the safest way to do it, right? These uh, are multi-cell batteries and you should be balanced charging them. So I've got a balanced charger here that I like. I'm gonna show you how to use it. and I'm gonna tell you why that's important and a whole lot safer. So I've got a new balance charger here that I want to talk about, but I also want to talk about how to safely uh, charge these batteries because, you know, these LiPos, they're dangerous, right? And if you don't charge them properly, bad things can happen. I've experienced it firsthand. I've done it both on purpose and not on purpose. And, uh, you know, there are dangerous things if you're not careful. And, and these are some of the, you know, chargers that come with drones that I just don't trust and I, I wouldn't trust if I were you because you know I don't know how great of a job they're doing actually balancing the charging but something like this is gonna be much better now this over here is the original uh, B6 balance charger it's pretty standard um, and the difference between these two is that this one doesn't have a built-in AC adapter you notice this thing is gigantic right so basically you have to find one of these um, plug it in here. It's already built in here. So uh, that's nice. Um, I'm going to show you how to use these things, uh, tell you the proper way to charge. Um, and really, I cannot emphasize that, um, you know, these batteries can be dangerous. And if you're not careful, bad things could happen. And also, if you're not charging it at the correct rate, um, your batteries aren't going to last as long. So I'll talk about that as well. First, let's talk about how you want to charge these. So you definitely need to balance charge them, right? There are some options on this uh, on how to charge, right? You can just charge, you can do quick charge, um, or you can do balance charge. And I highly recommend you stick with the balance charge here. Um, that's going to make sure that all of the cells, you can see that there are multiple cells inside here, they charge to the same capacity. So that's important. The other thing that's important is understanding um, at what uh, amperage to charge them at. So this is a 550 milliamp hour battery. I'm going to charge this at 0 0.5. This is a 5200 uh, versus 550. Uh, this one I can charge at 5.2. This one I can charge at 0.55. So basically if you have a 1000 uh, amp hour, milliamp hour battery, you can charge it at one amp, right? So it's Every 1,000 is an amp. So this is uh, 450. I can charge this at four and a half. Now, if this can't, I'm sorry, at 0.45. Now, if I can't do 0.45, I don't round up, I round down. Uh, so I'm gonna charge this at 0.4. I'm gonna charge this likely at point, 0.5. Uh, I even recommend this with, um, so this is a Bugs battery, a Bugs 2, MJX Bugs 2. Um, so these are, you know, race batteries. So you're thinking, oh, well, I, I, I don't need that. I have a, an MJX Bugs or a Hubson. Uh, a lot of these 2S batteries, and anything 2S and over, um, really would have a balanced charger, and you can do this with those uh, batteries. You just have to know what this other connector is. Now, this is called an XT30. This larger one is an XT60. Other common ones, that little red plug uh, is a JST, right? So you just kind of have to know those plugs. And I recommend getting a loom like this. You can pretty much charge almost anything you want um, with this balance charger. You can almost balance charge anything you want. Now, 1S batteries, probably the exception. You don't necessarily need to charge a 1S battery on here because there's nothing to balance. There's only one cell. So those chargers are generally okay. But uh, never, never walk away from a battery while it's charging. You need to uh, make sure that uh, you have an eye on it at all times. I do also like to put my batteries inside one of these LiPo bags while it's charging and while I store them. I also store them in ammo cans. Um, you can never be too safe. Now, will this stop a fire? No, but it might suppress it a little bit and give you some time to put it out. I also always charge... I always have a fire extinguisher and a smoke alarm uh, right next to my charging setup. So in case something happens, I'm able to react quickly and put out that fire. All right, so let me show you how this works. It's pretty simple, right? So you're gonna need one of these looms. It comes with some standard connectors. Um, I like this one because I can really charge anything I want. Um, 
and uh, let's go ahead and grab this Gigantor battery, right? Like I said, this is 5,200 milliamp hours, uh, which means I can charge it at 5.2 amps. If I want to round down, I would charge it at five, um, not five and a half. Um, always go down uh, rather than up. So I have to ch uh, connect this balance lead here, right? Then I also connect this XT60 over here. Now let's walk through the menu setup here. Okay, so first I need to choose uh, what I'm trying to do here, right? I want to do balance, not just charge, but uh, balance charge. I'm going to hit the enter button. All right, then I'm going to choose how many amps I want to charge at since this is 5200 uh, or 5200. I'm going to go to 5.2 amps. I'm going to hit enter. Um, now it is not a 3S battery, but this is a 2S battery. So I'm going to go to 2S, enter. Then I'm going to hold down this button here. It's going to check the battery to make sure that it has uh, the correct connections. Uh, which it does, um, then I'm going to confirm, and it's going to start charging. Now, other things you need to keep in mind when you're charging a battery like this, I suggest you find a safe place. Um, I would never actually do it on this bench. This is a wooden bench. I always charge in a concrete base, uh, something like a garage or a basement. Um, again, you want to pay attention to it. Uh, if you can put it in a LiPo bag or um, some sort of fireproof container while it's charging just to be safe, uh, always a good idea. But you can never be too safe when you're charging batteries. Hopefully this was helpful. I definitely recommend picking one of these up over a uh, standard battery charger that comes with your, your drone. It's not expensive. This is about this particular model is about 30 bucks. So money well spent. Hey, just so you know, Banggood has a pretty awesome summer sale going on. There are a bunch of different ways to win and save. Make sure you check out the links below in the description for all those details. Hey, good luck. Stay safe and happy flying.